Hey, my friends from Bristol County, Mr. Michael Valor asked me to share a message with you. Any friend of Michael Valor is a good friend of mine, so please allow me to take this time to share this simple message with you. Obviously, I haven't met you, you haven't met me, but allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jeff Yaldon. I'm a teen life coach, and I've been traveling the world the past 20 years working with teenagers, whether it be middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities, whether it be student leadership or young people in juvenile detention to young people in prison. I've had the honor of touching their lives, and, and the end result is they've obviously touched my life too. So I want to share with you just a simple message to encourage you to get on the right path to live your life in purpose. And I hope my words can ring true, and I hope my, my words can touch your heart a little bit. And I don't want you to look at me as anybody different or anyone special. And I know right now you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, yo, man, you look like the type of guy my parents tell me not to talk to. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, when I speak to young people, I often make this comment. If your life sucks, that's because you suck. Now, let me explain to you what I mean by that. I think one of the greatest things that we can do is have the courage to look in the mirror and look at ourselves when things aren't going wrong. Whether it be in a relationship, whether a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and things aren't going right, look in the mirror and say, what can I do to be a better boyfriend or a better girlfriend? What can I do to be a better friend? What can I do to pick up my grades? What can I do to get my life back in purpose? If you have the courage to look in the mirror and make, make solid decisions based on where your life is going and what you need to change, because I think oftentimes... I would agree that circumstances can dictate what happens, but I think by the power of choice and attitude, we can change the circumstances that have happened in our life to put us on a path to doing the right thing. You know, I want to ask you something. As you journey through life, are you focused on reputation of what people think of you? One thing I've come to learn is reputation is a matter of time. But your character, that's what I want you to concern yourself with. Your character is who you are. Your character is what you would do if you knew that you'd never be found out about. And the end result is your character is an eternity. Your character will last forever. I journey through my life and I pay attention to the influence or the approval of two people. My wife and my mother-in-law. Because <laughs> you know what they say, behind every successful man stands a very surprised mother-in-law. Young people, let me tell you something. I remember when I was in high school and I was sitting in class and I had my two friends on either side, Britt and Karen, still friends of mine today. And they were writing pages and notes and pages and notes. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, the hell are you writing? I'm in the same class. I don't hear anything of what you hear. <laughs> you know, man, I always thought that if you were going to be successful in life, your life needed to come down to being a person of great ability and great intelligence. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gifted with great ability. I'm not gifted with great intelligence. But I'll tell you one thing I've learned is your life comes down to the attitude you have every day and the choices you make every day. And I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter where you were yesterday or where you were last month or last year. It doesn't matter what you've had to go through today. But it matters what you're going through right now, this moment. It matters like what you're going to do in an hour, what you're going to do in, in five hours, tomorrow, this week. I live my life one day at a time. I make choices based on what is the right thing to do. Life can be hard sometimes. Life is challenging. But you know something? Don't ever give up, man. Don't ever give up. Do the little things every day that people do to become successful. Wake up every morning and realize that the success of your life is going to be about your choices and the attitude you have. I also want to encourage you guys, yo, surround yourself with people that can encourage you and support you. Surround yourself with people that are a positive influence that, you know, no matter what you're doing, you know, they got your back. 
And as a friend, you're going to have their back. My friends, don't complicate life because I don't think life is complicated. I think we complicate life. So as you journey on, and I hope that someday I'll pass cross. But I just got an email from Mr. Valor, and he said, Hey, Jeff, can you do me a favor and just shout some words for these boys? And I care a lot about them. I hope you remember what I said. If your life sucks, that's because you suck. Change your attitude. Change the choices you make. Have the courage to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I need to make a change. I need to surround myself with better people. I need to change my attitude. I need to change my influences. How can I be a better man? How can I be a better boyfriend? How can I be a better student? How can I be a better employer? Because the bottom line is, your success in life, it comes from within, man. I'm not perfect. But I'll tell you what, every single day I think about my character, that I don't worry about my reputation. I don't want to waste your time. But I hope this message is heard. And I wish you all the best. Now go out there and go out there and do something with your life. Y'all take care now and I appreciate you listening. Peace.